In this video, we are going to see how you can create a line effect in Photoshop. Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek aka Design Survey and you are in the Design Survey YouTube channel. So without wasting any time, let's get started. You can download this image from the description and make sure you hit that subscribe button. First of all, make the image black and white by going to image adjustment and click on desaturate. This is called foreground color and this is called background color. Now, if you want to fill the layer with foreground color, you have to hold alt or option and click on backspace. And if you want to fill with background color, hold control or command and click on backspace to fill the color. Now back to the tutorial. Now create a new layer and fill the white color by holding control or command and click on backspace. Now change the name of this layer to background and drag it down below the subject layer. Now remove the background of your subject layer. If you have the latest version of Photoshop, you have this remove background option. If you don't have that option, go to select and click on subject and now simply create a layer mask now right click on this layer and click on convert to smart object now press ctrl or command j to duplicate the layer and go to filter blur and click on motion blur now select the distance to around 130 and hit ok now simply create a layer mask and paint over the facial area because we want these expression and we want the facial details now duplicate the same layer and simply click on motion blur and this time change the distance to 260. Now again select the mask and paint over the facial area because we want these details. Now again duplicate the same layer and this time change the distance to 748. And again you have to paint on the mask to get back all the facial details. Now hold shift and select all these layers and group them. Now right click on the group and click on merge group. Now select these two layers this background white layer and your merged layer and again merge them together and convert that layer into a smart object. Now simply go to filter and click on filter gallery. Now you have to add these two filters, graphic pen filter and half tone filter. Here is all the settings for both the filters and you have to change these settings according to your image and simply hit OK. Now duplicate this layer and change the blending mode to linear dodge add and there you have this amazing effect add patterns text as you're liking to make it more pop and make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button so youtube algorithm will help me out thank you so much see you in the next one